um, taken, this croissant is tiny. I was not expecting that at all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this croissant is like mini. It's so tiny. And to go with it, I got a pumpkin cream cold brew. But instead of regular vanilla, I got sugar-free vanilla. And this is actually really nice. Yeah, why is it mush muffin shaped? It's kind of weird. But I'm going to try it. Okay. It's good. But it doesn't really taste like a croissant. It's like really doughy on the inside. Like it's flaky but doughy. It is. Like this is all dough here. Like it doesn't seem super croissanty to me. Yes. Basically an IRL streamer. You guys are getting two this weekend because tomorrow I have Fan Expo. And let me turn the shade so I can see. Um, I'm going to be streaming at Fan Expo tomorrow. Which is exciting. It's actually kind of cold out. I have my backpack. I literally walked here. I walked all the way here with my giant, this is what I call my camping backpack, even though I don't go camping. Um, this was the bag I used to use when I lived in Niagara and I needed it to do grocery shopping. Um, but I have my laptop in there. I have my book in there because I do want to do some writing today. So, you know. Mm. I just want one autograph and it's from Gimli from Lord of the Rings because I collect Lord of the Rings autographs on my book. It is really nice today. I think it's supposed to go up to 20 six today celsius um not till four but it's supposed to steadily incline till then am i gonna see cosmo i actually don't know because i do want to spend time outside writing i feel like it's so beautiful today that i want to take advantage um it was kind of hot when i was walking but um pretty nice now Maybe because I was just walking, I was like sweaty. But I don't really want to be inside. Maybe I'll stop by on the way back, but. How much is 100 Fahrenheit and Celsius? <laughs> Sweat smell for real. Also, like, no one's awake at this time. I got up and move in. I've been up since 6.55. Good morning, James. How are you doing? I'm trying to avoid the sun, but it's kind of hard. Thirty, thirty-eight Celsius. You've been up since seven forty-five. That's a good time. You're chilling at Wake Enterprises. What are you doing there today, James? Madam Pig, ask James about his shoes prom. It's actually funny. It's a prom where they're not allowed to wear fancy shoes. I don't really understand it, but I think it's kind of funny. The apple croissant was nice, but I think I'd rather just have the regular one. It was nice to try once, though. Yes, I've been there, Madam Pig. I went there 
last weekend I got Lotus Biscoff pancakes. They were fire. They were actually really good. What's crazy is like I see people walking out there on a weekday and I'm like, you know what? I never thought about that. I'm just going for breakfast on a weekday. That's pretty crazy. That's some wild stuff. Like I see like I seen like construction workers walking out of there. I'm like, okay, go off. Have your pancakes before you do your work. I love that. Oh. My morning's good. I what did I do today? I showered. I made a thumbnail for a video that's going live later. Um, I didn't do any writing today because I plan to do it after stream. And I just walked here. It took like 40 minutes, 35 minutes, something like that. This is really nice. I like this drink a lot. Thank you, James. You always like my outfit. There's nothing new about that. I feel like I could be wearing a fucking garbage bag and James would be like, nice outfit, by the way, Claudia. I need to zip up my sweater because I'm freezing. I think it's also because I have this ice drink. I'm going to move you guys here so that I can sit back. Yeah, this is good. Maybe even a little closer. I also noticed that if you guys are too far away, because I have terrible vision, I can't see what you guys are writing. Bigglesworth, this is my natural habitat right here. In this weird chair-like setting in the middle of a parking lot. I don't know why they have these chairs here. Or these, like, look at, I'm going to show you. Let me flip the camera Okay, N try not to dox myself. Okay, this is like the, the top part, right? Okay, look at this. There's these little like benches, like all around here in the middle of a parking lot, like Starbucks is here. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand. I don't know why they put them here, but you know what? I love it. I feel like the, I feel like my little part of the world needed this i don't know they are cute i just am very like okay i like that they have fresh flowers all here too like they're really nice yes canada where do you think i am do you think i'm on vacation does it look like i'm on vacation because i actually love that if so maybe i can move this down there how long am i streaming i don't know till i'm Maybe till I'm done my drink, or actually no, I drink pretty fast. Maybe it depends on, I don't know, whenever I'm feeling it. Also depends on my phone battery. You have a stream idea? What is it? Do you want to be in it? Do you want to come surprise me at Starbucks? I love that you think it's my bedroom that I usually stream in. It's actually my basement. But I just set it up really, really nice. Um, at one point I was sleeping in there to be fair, but not anymore. <laughs> Madam Pig reveal. That would be so funny. We'd have to come up with something good. We'd have to do like um, some sort of Q&A or or I feel like it would be kind of funny if like me, you and Sabby did like a favorites video or something where like we had to guess, like say we do like favorite color and like we just guess each other's favorite color and see how many each person can get right or something. What if you did a write with me stream where you write and listen to tunes? See, I would totally do that, but here like I can't set up music on my phone to go on stream. Like, I don't know how I would be playing music is a thing. Like, I could do it at home, but here it's kind of, I don't have enough tech with me. I just have my phone and my laptop. My laptop I could use for writing, but then my phone, I don't know how I'd play music at the same time. You've always contemplated moving to Canada? You should. 
Actually, um, one of my longtime viewers, Colton, he's from Florida, and he's currently in Canada uh, for Fan Expo, which is super cool. Um, Canada is really nice, and you get a variety of seasons. I feel like Florida, after a certain amount of time, like it being hot, like you'd want some fall weather. Like here, you get fall weather, and that's pretty crazy. Fall weather is cozy, it's comfy, it's very Halloweeny. And you guys, you guys are missing out on the leaves changing, slight breeze. It's beautiful. Am I gonna see him? Probably. I think Orbital is going as well um, from Ohio. So I have lots of people traveling. It makes me nervous because I'm like shy and I feel like they're gonna be disappointed when I'm shy in real life, but it's okay. Hi, Clyde. I walked to Starbucks this morning, so I'm just chilling out. You guys are having a chill morning with me. I'm from Massachusetts, but I've lived in Florida for a while. Don't know enough about Canada to know where to move to. Well, if I had to suggest anything, I think the pumpkin spice is getting stuck to me. If I had to suggest anything, I would just say that like, Pretty much the hubs of Canada are either Vancouver or Ontario. So you'd probably want to go somewhere there just because otherwise, like all the in-betweens, like um, Saskatchewan and stuff, like there's nothing happening there. So I didn't bring my smutty book with me today. I had in my uh, backpack um, pucked. I still haven't finished it because it's basically just porn honestly it's not that good there's not really a good plot but um i've sl i just read a chapter here and there because i think it's funny <laughs> but i don't have it with me today otherwise i would do a dramatic reading out in public here just joking i probably wouldn't maybe i do have a book with me though i brought um uh slaughterhouse five i'm still reading this i I haven't been able to pick it up for like a week or two just because I've been so fucking busy. But this book is actually really funny. I wasn't expecting it to be this funny. It's it's basically about someone who's been in the war, which honestly doesn't sound that funny, but it's like, it's satirical. Like, like he'll say something like, oh, this guy like um, met his wife in the war whatever, whatever, talking about some guy, and then, and then he'll be like, two months later, she died tragically, so it goes. And that's his little catchphrase throughout the book, so it goes, so it goes, all the time. It's actually pretty funny. I don't know, I like it, but I just haven't gotten a chance to read, like, an iced coffee. So it's, like, specifically brewed to be cold, and they put, like, a cold foam on top, um, they don't put milk in it. They don't put anything like that. Just the cream cold foam like at the top and then eventually it'll just like mix into the drink. But um, they're pretty good. I, I like the cold brew a lot better than the iced coffee. The iced coffee tastes like bitter a little bit. So I'm not like huge on it, but I, I do prefer the cold brew. Um, and I don't do frappuccinos. I don't like frappuccinos. You must have a really nice phone. This IRL setup is really good. Oh my God, really? I'm glad you think so. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, I got it last summer and I remember when I first tried streaming off of it because I think because it was so new, it was actually incredibly glitchy when I tried to stream. Um, I don't know if it was my data or what, or if it was my phone, but it would like cut scenes and everyone, every time I streamed, people would be like, your stream sucks. This, this quality is terrible. But I guess now the updates have caught up with the phone. Have you ever had a 24 inch pizza? Would that be like an extra large or like a party size pizza? Is it a square or a circle? Thank you. I'm glad you think so. I, uh, I remember I purposefully upgraded because, so before I only had an iPhone XS, I think, and the stream quality was very, very terrible. So then my, um, so I went to Fan Expo last year and 
uh, someone randomly in Union Station gave me an iPhone 12 mini. I was like, okay, let's go. Um, I was like, okay, I'm going to use this. But the battery was like super, super, um, like it would die literally in like two hours of streaming. So I was like, okay, I can't do this phone. So I basically just kept it for like, I want to say like a month and then when the the new iPhone came out I got that one the iPhone 15 I, 15 Pro Max I think whatever the highest one was when it came out I bet you this year they're coming out with a new one already so that's why my phone's all up to date <laughs> it's not that new anymore but I figured I'd do this one today just because I you don't understand the lore behind my apple croissant. Basically, last year they announced a baked apple croissant at Starbucks. And I was so hyped for this freaking croissant. I went to Starbucks and she was like, oh no, we don't have any. And I was, I was really upset. Then I went back again last year. And she was like, oh, it's exclusive to America. Like, we're not getting the baked apple croissant in Canada. I was like, are you kidding me? I was excited for no reason. Then this year... Just last week, I saw they announced that Canada was getting the baked apple croissant. I was like, holy shit, I need it. It came out yesterday, like whatever, whatever. So I asked my mom, I'm like, can you get me the baked apple croissant? Like after work, I'll order it, whatever. It was sold out. Then I placed an order at this one because this is the other Starbucks. And it said it was in stock. So I used my points, whatever, whatever. And I go in to pick it up. And they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have any left. We just didn't mark it out of stock, like, in the, in the app. I was like, are you kidding? I'm like, can I get my points back then? Because I didn't want to use them for any other baked good. Like, I wanted my freaking apple croissant. And so we said they were going to refund the points, but they weren't on my app today. And I was like, what am I going to do? I just want my freaking croissant. So I walked here. It took, like, 35, 40 minutes. And I walked up to the lady, and I was like, Okay, listen, I used my points yesterday for my apple croissant, and then I came in here and they said it was sold out, so I didn't get any other sweet treat here. Can I just get the apple croissant? So she gave it to me for free, but now I think the points are, like, back on my thing, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe I just got a free croissant today. I'm not really sure. Okay. Everything is possible for one who believes. Jesus, amen. Amen, Jesus. No, no, no. Ravioli has cheese in them. I'm Italian. I should know. Ravioli usually has spinach and cheese inside or there's meat ones, but they're always filled. The car behind you just had a sticker that said shart on the back window. You're such a liar. That's all right. Yeah. Are they just mystery? They just fall off? I don't, what's weird is they're skinnier than these other ones, so I don't know where they even go. Is your fucking Jenga? Yeah, I don't know. You grabbed your fucking Jenga at park? I also or wonder, uh, in that one there, someone's, like, stuck things inside. Are it? people using them as, like... Like, pot the shit? Or I don't them? know. There's something in there. Well, I can see them. It, yeah. That's weird. Here. Oh, that's what's done. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. You should try and pick this woman up. Stop. Stop it. You guys are funny. Um, that's what I love about living in a small town, though. Like, people will just talk to you and say sorry for interrupting. Like, that's so nice. Throw it back for a shirty left, bro. Relax. Thank you for following the queef thief. <laughs> I feel bad because I had put my cup on the ground and she kicked it. She was like, oh, and people are littering. I'm like, oh, that was mine. I was going to throw it out. The garbage is right there. <laughs> I just didn't put it on the table because it was blowing away from the wind. And then her son threw it out for me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hi, can you show your feet? Do you want to see my shoes? Here, look. These are my muddy, dirty, pink filas. 
That 70s show is pretty good. Oh my god, look at all the geese. Can you even see them? I don't know if you can see them. They've passed already.